This is a 2019 Ford Edge, and this is the titanium package with all-wheel drive. Today we're here with our friends at Chuck Spath Ford in New Ulm, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride. And today, Nathan, what are we taking a look at? Today we are looking at this beautiful 2019 Ford Edge with a titanium package and all-wheel drive. That's right. But say, before we take a look at it, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to keep up to date with all the new technology, and you like cool collector cars, take a minute to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up top so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Oh, well, let's, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, well today we are in the 2019 Ford Edge, which yep. has been, uh, had a fresh redesign um, for uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, comfortable. I like the seats. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. It's very easy to adjust and very comfortable. Wow. Yep, I, I like them. I've driven just a little bit in there and, and it's very comfortable. The ride itself is very nice. Um, it's, it's a dampened sound in here, mm -hmm. well insulated. Yeah. Haven't noticed a bunch of you know road noise or tire noise that like non-existent really. Um, and it just keeps the you know outside traffic noise out, which is which is nice. You know, um, just climbing in, it's low to the ground. It's, it's high enough off so if you're you know in um, snow or whatever, mm -hmm. you're gonna have some clearance. Um, but it's really easy to step in and out of both uh, first and second row. Right. Um, I like the fact that um, as far as like where things are in the car, that the um, climate controls are now physical push buttons. Yeah, they're not the you know like the flat screen where you had to push. It's actually a physical button, and I really like that improvement. Um, I like the low dashboard. Yeah, and then the kind of the power domed hood coming from the sides. I mean, it's not a power dome hood, but you got the edges coming down, and then a little bulge in the middle. I like that; gives you good visibility. Okay, just getting around town, it's small enough and and nimble enough to, you know, feel. It make, makes you feel very confident. I can see why it's a bestseller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't get over how quiet it is. It is extremely quiet. Uh, and you know, in terms of uh, parking. Again, it's got the re reverse camera, backup camera, and uh, the dynamic swivel guidelines, as well as hitch guidelines. This one does come with a, a towing package on it. Um, so, real easy to park, and it's, it's, not, it's not a huge vehicle. So overall, just a really nice ride. I, I love how quiet it is, I love how comfortable it is, how nimble it is to you know steer around town. So, um, now we're gonna let Rob drive and uh, see what he thinks. All right. I like the steering wheel. It's got a little squishy, squishiness to it, so it's not, it's nicely wrapped, uh, but it's got a little cush to it. You can squeeze it, that's comfortable. Um, you know, we talked about it a few minutes ago. It's very quiet in here. I like it that. It is really quiet. So lots of sound deadening, and uh, it's, it's very quiet. We've already had it on the highway as well, so you know, you don't get a lot of road noise coming in. And, um, you know, a lot of safety features. I know it's got knee airbags, it's got side curtain airbags, dual front airbags. So, yeah, and the fit and finish is really nice. You got a lot of soft touch materials all throughout. You got some hard touch around the uh, navigation and infotainment system and along the, the center console, but that's to be expected. Uh, but other places where your hands typically and arms fall to with the center console, you've got uh, nicely cushioned and padded areas. So we'll see what the uh, acceleration is here. Get out. Controlled, I would say. It's It's got good zip and pep to it, but it doesn't whip your neck. You, you feel just a good 
the torque just pulling you through and I, I like that it was pretty good nice and enjoyable how's the back seats you know the back seats I, I have to say they're as comfortable as the front seats hmm. they're really nice plus you can recline them when I left that that seat where I had it I had plenty of leg room up front how is it back there mm, six inches Okay. Putting it in sport mode really does change the acceleration on it. It's a lot quicker. And the handling, you can just feel like just driving down the street. Regular now that it's really, it's really good now. What's really cool is I can increase the speed, but if he doesn't go any further away from me, the car won't increase speed. It's gonna keep that gap that you set. Right, and if you, like as long that. as you use the, you're using the cruise control. Yes. If you press on the accelerator, you're gonna, you're, well, yeah. you're gonna, it'll turn off the cruise. Right. <laughs> it's like any other normal car. That's you're right. gonna run into the guy in front of you. We have a red light coming, and it is stopping so for me. Put your foot on the brake just to make sure. I've got it at the brake. This is a bit unnerving. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's stopping is, for is, me. Is it gonna stop it's all the way? It's stopping I'm hoping, for I'm me. Hoping. It stopped all the way, and I have not touched the brake at all. My foot's oh my hovering gosh. over okay. it because this is blowing my that, mind. That is a little <laughs> It's interesting to note that you know Ford has four or five different adaptive cruise systems. Okay. So this one is apparently, it'll bring you to a full stop, but it won't accelerate for you. Okay. There's another one called Stop and Go. That one will actually accelerate you after the stop when the car in front of you moves. Wow. Um, so there are different versions, so you might want to check that when you purchase your vehicle as to exactly what type of adaptive cruise control it has, just so you know. Right. Okay, up next, my outside review, and then coming up after that, Nathan's gonna take you for a full tour of all the gizmos and tech and features built into the inside of this yep. car. Keep watching. Ford refreshed the midsize Edge SUV for 2019, adding both a fancier version and a edgier GT Performance trim level. It also added a new transmission, smarter all-wheel drive option, and more safety uh, and sta more standard safety tech features. Now, some of the changes for 2019 include a freshened appearance with new grille, front and rear bumpers and new wheel designs and also revised headlights and tail lights. There are four trim levels for the Edge SUV, the Edge SE at $29,995, the SEL $33,300, the Titanium $38,760 and then the Edge ST starts at $42,355. This is the 2019 Ford Edge Titanium uh, SUV with full wheel drive. Now it is powered by intercooled twin scroll 2 liter double overhead cam echo boost engine with auto start stop feature producing 250 horsepower and 280 pound foot of torque. It does have intelligent all wheel drive and it's driven with an 8 speed shiftable automatic transmission. Now out front you do have fully automatic uh, headlights that are by LED and are wiper activated with LED daytime running lamps. You also have LED fog lights and LED signature lighting. You also see the chrome grill. It does have rain sensing wipers. Uh, one thing about the chrome grill real quick too, I'll tell you it does have the active uh, shutters as well that uh, will open and close depending on the heat and uh, temperature of the engine. Now this Edge also comes with a cold weather package which includes front and rear floor liners, a heated steering wheel, and a windshield wiper de-icer. Let's take a look around the side. Now the wheels are 18 inch bright aluminum, bright machine aluminum wheels with premium dark stainless and they're in painted pockets. They're wrapped in P235 60R18 all season black sidewall tires. Now the front suspension is coil springs and the rear is multi-link uh, suspension and they do have a front and rear anti-roll bars. This vehicle also does have the four wheel disc brakes, 13.6 inch front rotors, 12.4 inch rear rotors and it does have traction control. Now on the side you do see the bright belt line moldings. It does have heated mirrors with integrated turn signal indicators 
it does have roof rack rails yes roof rack rails it does have the deep tinted privacy glass and on the other side uh, the uh, fuel filter cap is on the other side and it is the uh, easy fuel capless filter now this edge SUV does have the uh, lane departure warning it has lane keeping assist cross traffic alert uh, advanced track SOS post crash alert driver and passenger knee airbags uh, safety canopy and side impact uh, impact airbags as well as the dual front airbags as well and Nathan will show you those uh, things later now let's take a look out back out back this does have the hands-free lift gate it's got the fixed rear window with fixed integral wiper and the built-in defroster you do have the LED brake lights and a class 2 trailer hitch with uh, trailer sway control you also have the rear parking sensors and uh, dual stainless steel exhaust tips now like I said this does have the um, hands-free lift gate but I can never get those things to work it's just crazy but anyway the cargo volume behind the front seat is 74.8 cubic feet behind the with the second row up you've got 41.7 cubic feet and of course this is not a third row SUV the cargo area width at the belt line at the top here is 63 inches and then between the wheel housings is 45.3 inches and now they're saying the cargo box height is 34.5 inches so almost three feet let's take a look at the dimensions of this vehicle okay this vehicle does ride on a wheelbase of 112.2 inches with an overall length of 189 inches width without the mirrors 75.9 inches and its height is 68.8 inches you do have an eight inch ground clearance now the track width out front is 64.8 inches out back it's 64.7 inches this does have a fuel tank of 18.5 gallons and it does have a turning circle of 39.2 feet now the base curb weight is 4124 pounds and its maximum trailering capacity when properly equipped is up to 3500 pounds now safety uh, national highway traffic safety administration crash results overall five star rating price this edge titanium suv is stickered at 43,665. appearance uh, well in this design some may see a snub nose suv with trim proportions and a short greenhouse while others will see a bloated hatchback uh, dependability three-year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and a five-year 60,000 roadside assistance uh, program uh, economy you're looking at 21 city 28 highway with premium unleaded fuel okay so why should you consider buying the Ford Edge well the 2019 Ford Edge it could be an enticing choice for smaller families uh, or for anyone who doesn't need a three third row seating actually it has more cargo capacity than many two row suv rivals as well and it also has a comfortable ride and decent fuel economy uh, so you know it's got quite an appeal as a uh, a daily commuter so overall very nicely done really cool car but You've only seen a portion of it, and I know Nathan's chomping at the bit to come in. So come on in, Nathan. I know you're going to want to take folks for a tour of the inside. Oh, I am. You notice he keeps the key. He doesn't let me have the key because he knows I'm going to take it out of the road and play with it. So, all right, Nathan, take it away. All right, come on in. All right, and starting on the uh, driver's door here, you've got a three-person memory setting, your unlock and lock buttons. You do have auto up and down for the front windows. You have regular power rear windows, your window locked out, and then your mirror controls here. A nice little grab handle here with this has got a, like a black uh, axe plastic accent on it. It looks really nice with the gray door and the white uh, stitching. Then down here, you've got some bottle storage and then some more extra storage back in here. This is uh, one of the 12 Bang & Olsen sound system speakers right here. And then there's another one down here. Now on the seats here, we have 10-way power, including two-position lumbar. And then you do have some interesting storage right down in here that I've never seen before. And it's kind of nice to make use of that space right there. And then down here, you've got your hood release right here and then up moving up 
you've got your auto lamps here and you've got fog lamps and you've got your dashboard brightness and dimness you've got your trunk opening switch here and then traction control on or off in addition to this this is uh, power tilt and telescope all right let's give this a start it is a push start so basically uh, over on the left you have driver information stuff and over on the right screen you have got uh, things like your navigation your media your phone and climate that you can uh, toggle between so these are 4.2 inch screens on your side and then you've got the speedometer in the middle moving back over here you've got the cursor controls for the left 4.2 inch uh, driver's information screen and over here you've got the same four cursor arrows plus the OK button uh, for the right 4.2 inch screen below that on the left you have got your cruise control on or off cancel you've got set and then resume or, or, or decrease your speed or increase your speed You've got your lane keeping assist, your gap setting for your lane keeping assist. And then over here on the right side, below the uh, cursor arrows, you've got your uh, phone on, phone off. These are also media cursors to scroll through uh, different like uh, um, radio stations. And then you've got your voice command. And then you've got mute and then a volume button. Now it's worth pointing out here that um, you know, with the Sync 3 system that this has, uh, you can push and hold this and access Siri, which is really, really nice. Or you can just push and let it go and then use it for a voice command for the navigation and uh, other things like climate. All right, moving on over. This is uh, powered by an 800 watt Bang & Olufsen sound system with 12 speakers, and it is a super nice sound. This does come with the Co-Pilot 360 Assist Plus, which includes auto emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot information system with cross traffic warning, lane keeping assist, auto high beams, the reverse camera, adaptive cruise control with lane centering, and evasive steering. Okay, now evasive steering will not steer for you, but will give you extra steering control uh, should you need to make an emergency maneuver and braking won't avoid the accident. All right, so that being said, this is all touchscreen, and the only exception being that you can use, you can see the radio changing there. That's those buttons I showed you again over here on the steering wheel. All right, moving on down the center stack down here, you have your hazards uh, button right here. And then I like this. I mentioned before on the ride that you've got physical buttons in, and for climate, and you do. So you've got auto, max, uh, uh, defrost. You've got rear defrost. Um, you've got your AC button, max AC, recirculatory, and then your power button. And these are all actual physical push, whereas before they were on a, this flat screen, and then you had to kind of just hover your finger over it and, and push the plastic. I like the physical buttons. Um, you do also have a physical sound button that if you push then you get all the sound stuff for your stereo. Okay. Now, moving on down here, this does come with dual heated seats, three stage on each side. You have your temperature control for the passenger, temperature for the driver, and then your fan speed control. As far as the uh, media goes, right here you've got a power on off, you've got a nice volume, big volume switch, and then your seek and your tune buttons. Now, the one question that people might have is, where do I sync my temperature? So if the passengers have set theirs differently um, and the driver's is different, where do I sync them? Well, for that, you do need to go into the climate control. So you just press climate. Then up here, it doesn't say sync, it says dual. So you can see the different temperatures. If I press dual, it goes back to the previous setting. All right, coming on down here a little bit further, you do have a hidden storage right here. So if I pop this open, you've got dual USB ports here. You do also have a wireless charging pad. And one of the things I like about this pad, I have a large size smartphone 
and sometimes I have difficulty fitting it into the uh, smart charging area um, and not in this one. This one it fits really easy with the case on it. So I really like that. And then of course it's just a simple push close. Back here you've got another phone holder. You got dual cup holders. I really like these little inserts that they put on these little grips. Really helps to hold cups firmly in place. They don't slosh around. All right, and you do have a rotary dial uh, shift knob, and which is very easy. You just rotate it around. And like the other new Fords we've seen, if you uh, have it in drive, and you open your, uh, you just open your door, it goes to park automatically. Right, which is a nice safety feature and then of course you have your sport mode which only shows up once you um, are in gear and then the light it actually has a little led that lights up which is nice okay over here you have your parking brakes and then you have the auto start stop shut off or turn on feature right here all right moving back a little bit further you do have some nice storage here and again that'll fit a large size smartphone and then if I pull open the uh, console storage here, you've got a tray here. And kind of, you know, one of the things I like about this, most of these are a pull-out. This just flips, right? Which is nice. You just probably don't want anything in there when you do that. Then you've got coin storage in here. And then you've got a 12-volt outlet right here. And then, maybe I'll try to see if I can get the picture of this move my hand out but there's a little tray down there let me see if I can get the camera adjusted I'm not sure you're gonna see it but what that is it's really neat um, so what you can do is you can take your key fob and you can set it in there now if the battery is completely dead on your remote you can set it in there and then you can start the vehicle the other thing you can do which is really neat is if you're buying this second hand and you get the uh, the uh, factory code for the door uh, to unlock and lock it and it doesn't work you can actually retrieve your door your original factory door code using the, your key fob placed in that center armrest cradle that I showed you. Well, hopefully you saw it. Uh, it was kind of dark. Um, and then you can, it'll, you go through some steps and uh, they're very easy. And then it'll show up on your uh, left screen here on your dashboard as to what your door code is. You can also, if you uh, want a third fob or you, you lose one, you can put this one in and then you can program a third from it. Moving over here, you have a locking glove compartment. And it's just a push, and this stays. So it's, you, you feel like you want to grab it, but you can't. Okay. And then you've got nice ample storage in there. Plus, it is lit. All right. So the visors here are, of course, uh, telescoping. And they are lit on both sides. Now if I go up here, I got a sunglass holder right here. And then up here you have your light controls. This does have a auto dimming rear view mirror. All right, another neat little feature in storage area wise is this little opening underneath the dash. It's a little bit hidden, but uh, it's got a nice little area in there. Okay, over on the passenger's door, uh, you have got, you know, your window power button is pretty much the same setup as the driver's door. You got nice storage, but there are a couple of differences over here. Um, you got the same 10 way, uh, power seat right here with two position lumbar. Uh, I like how the edge lights up, but you do have an additional 12 volt outlet right here. And I really like where that's located instead of being stuffed in here, it makes it really convenient for the passenger to use. Okay, the seats themselves are really nice leather. Hey, I, I like the design, I like the looks of them, and they are very comfortable seats. Alright, so stepping to the rear, um, the doors are, are very similar, you know, to the fronts. You've got your power window, Bang & Olsen speakers, two in the door. You do have a cup holder and then a little bit of storage on the side. You, do, you also have dual seat back pockets, which I like. 
and then moving over to the center console area you've got your air vents you do have a little tiny storage here not big enough for a smartphone but big enough for a couple small things and then in addition to that you've got another 12 volt outlet and a uh, hundred and uh, yeah you got a hundred and fifty watt household plug-in I really like having when they put those in there now the seats themselves are quite comfortable you do have a center armrest and uh, before I step in I'll just show you there's a lever and Rob you can see it on the back side right here mm -hmm. okay so if I pull that my seat folds right forward so I can load stuff in you know further and have more space simple push up what I also like is if I pull them I can recline the seat and look at that angle of recline I and mean, that's quite an angle um, all right so let's step in and um, I left the driver's seat where I was comfortable and you can see I've got you know close to five inches of space right here so just oodles of space I also like the fact that the seats you know come up to your a little above your shoulders giving you a really nice uh, comfortable uh, place to, to rest against um, the headrests are adjustable you can pull them up or down and then of course um, you can do that reclining thing which is really nice this is this is too far for me I'd be uncomfortable but you know a little bit of recline I like um, I've got oh my gosh you know, almost another uh, three four inches of headroom and uh, you know my my legs my feet are very comfortable there's a wide opening underneath the seats to, to fit your feet underneath it so they're comfortable um, that may be one of the highest rear front seats I've seen um, there's actually some wiggle room for your feet but overall a, a very comfortable seat in the rear um, and uh, would, would be very comfortable uh, for a long ride this is the 2019 Ford I don't know which one it is. We are taking a look at this beautiful 20... <laughs> hey, I was going to mess it up. Did it. It's All right. used to. <laughs> but it's nice. I, I mean, we're, we're a good... we, we got to be a good probably almost 10 feet yeah. back from that car. I may need to go buy more pants. <laughs>